Hello everyone and welcome to a quick introduction to Cloud2's EasySPC charts in Power BI. In this video we have assumed you are aware of what SPC charts are, why SPC charts are used and how to use SPC charts. EasySPC helps you quickly and easily create any of the 10 SPC chart types. EasySPC has all the key features you need to create reports easily as possible. You can select a chart type that best fits your data. Alternatively, you can click on the Get Started button to provide you with some help for those report creators who are unsure of which chart type is best to use based on the data you are using. Now you have chosen your chart type, you now see your data plotted on the SPC chart. The next thing you may want to do is mark a baseline. Once my baseline is marked, I may want to make a shift and we provide a number of options here. I'm able to do a manual shift or I can shift eight points by default, which I will select at this point. In addition to the manual shift and the shift by eight points, we also provide the ability to enable auto shifting for those organizations who would like to make use of that feature. Other customizations you may want to do to your chart could include ghosting a data point or adding annotations to a data point. We've also added other features and functionality to the charts. One of these uh, requested features was having hours, minutes and seconds available on the Y axis. I am now able to change the Y axis to show hours, minutes, seconds, hours, minutes in minutes or hours. We've also enabled a feature to add a target as a measure. And now you can also enable making data count icons, which are widely used in the NHS. Thank you for watching. We hope this quick intro to easy SPC charts in Power BI was helpful for you. If you do have any questions or feedback, feel free to contact getmore at cloud2.co.uk.